Hey everybody. So I'm going to be going over our opener, um, 20, 2021 opener. We're going to be doing a small series called, uh, happiness. And in the past I've had my students make little books of happiness and it's a five page book about the senses. So this is one of my dear students. Annabelle, her little book of happiness. And so she likes to see the rain. She likes to smell acrylic paint. She likes to taste coffee. And she likes to hear old Elvis records. And she likes to feel big sweaters. And in her book, she wrote the reasons and it made it really personal and intimate. She also had a great unifying color palette. So she didn't jump all over the place. She stayed really consistent. And she used, you know, gray, brown, yellow with peach and black ink. And she stayed super consistent. That is a strong unifying element. So one of your criteria pieces is that your book is unified. So, and it's, a, you're not making a book actually, you're making a small series. And you'll, uh, you'll have your choices. I'm gonna show you kind of today, you're only getting the thumbnail part. You won't be starting on the final this week. You're just going to be planning your five small pieces that represent your senses and how you um, experience happiness through your five senses. So this is Annabelle's. It used to be about your summer. So my students did this. Now, this has really good elements, but there it's missing unification. So this one's done in graphite. This is done in color pencil. This is done with an ink outline. This is monochromatic black and white with purple and it just jumps. I see an element of um, unification because the writing is all in the same place. Um, and you know, uh, there are elements, this is, the crafting is good. It's just missing a unification. So I tasted sweet and crispy watermelon. I saw my reflection crying in the mirror. I felt the loving warmth of his hand in mine. So it's just, it's it's not that it's bad, it's just missing that unification. This is another summer one. And you know, we're translating it into how our summer, I mean, how our senses experience happiness. But this one is really beautiful. Lots of color with ink. The writing's all in the same place. Um, some people choose to do the writing, others don't. You know, feeling tasting, listening, oh, the tasting, watch the saw, and that must have be smelled. But I really love the format and the unification with the black ink and the color pencil, and this does feel unified to me. Um, and it's also just a beautiful crafted book. So my publication of Merry Mint. So the book of happiness. So instead of books, you guys are doing five little pieces and you'll have them kind of like, you know, something like this, five little pieces. Um, you could do it on one piece of paper and have five little drawings that way. And I'll show you mine where I'm at. So again, this one is fully unified. It has sight, smell, hear, taste, touch. Um, and then, you know, I love the sight of an empty canvas. I adore the smell of hot coffee. I enjoy the comfort of hearing rain outside. Um, uh, the taste of summer fruit. I love the soft touch of my kitten, even though I'm allergic. And this beautiful pastel color palette, simple, uh, simple kind of display, but it works because it has a really great unity and the writing is unity and it's well-crafted. Here's another one. So these are the five senses, um, the smell of chemicals, uh, looking, touching, listening, and tasting. And I like all these illustrations. I think the black outline really helps unify. It does feel a little all over the place and I think the background on the guitar needs to have a little bit of something. And this one's split and all the rest are solid. So. That can be a problem sometimes compositionally is to have one split and all the rest solid. So it's something to think about when you're in your thumbnail process. This week, all you're doing is your thumbnail. I'm sharing you some of my, the ones that were left behind. I looked everywhere for mine and I couldn't find mine in the classroom. So I wanna talk briefly about 
problematic kind of solutions. Too much white space, way too much white space. And um, there's nothing wrong with like the kind of naive drawing. Um, and she did put seeing the ocean waves, smelling the blossoms, touching my horse, tasting ice cream, hearing diesel trucks but it doesn't have that sense of completion. So leaving all the white space and leaving things in pencil and not really bringing it to full finish is kind of, you know, like these two are really beautiful. This one's too, it's too simple and it's a little cliche. This one has some proportional issues and some anatomical issues, which is fine. It's a stylized project. Like you get to work in your style, but you may want to consider, um, you know, what, what you, you want to think about it. Here's one that, um, it has a unity. It has sight, smell, hear, taste, touch. Too much white space. So you want to think about how to create dynamic images and not just place objects on the white square. So like I love touch and there's something about the palette. It's also light. Like I might play with, with contrast a little. So like even on Annabelle's, like hers is light, kind of like this book, but it's working because A, the difference is like kind of astounding. Like just the attention to care with the paints. And then we have with the simple, almost cliched rose and the cliched music note and the pizza, like maybe having someone eating the pizza and not just the pizza floating in a white square, definitely considering the negative spaces. You know, and that's one of the criteria is not just unity, but the negative spaces. So in the assignment, I ask you to go in your sketchbook and this is what you're doing this week. This is this week's assignment. You're gonna write, see, smell, taste, hear, feel, and you're gonna come up with the things like, I like to see Moon Kitty, I like to smell rainy days, which a lot of people did, but it's been raining in particular. And um, so I've been really enjoying that. Love hot soup, it's, it's totally the season. And I like to hear music, which is a little cliche, which I might change. And I like the feel of super, super soft socks. And so my series is I decided to work in a circular frame. So my five pieces, when I do my final, they're gonna be um, on these watercolor papers in a circular frame and I'm gonna do these five pieces on in, in a circle, using a circle. And that's my choice. I decided to unify them using three colors, uh, black, white, blue, and gray. So actually that's four. Um, and I picked, you know, I tried to depict what I wrote, um, rainy days, and I was thinking about doing that little border but I might not I might just leave it thinking about adding writing these are my thumbnails so this isn't like a final thing or anything I'm just brainstorming and then my hot soup things like um how do I want to arrange them do I want to arrange them like a collection or in a line I like I'm thinking that I would like a collection but this week all you're doing and it's a 10 point assignment Um, all my art threes and art twos are doing this project. It's a great opener. So, and you know, those five senses equals one for each piece. What do you see that brings you happiness? What do you hear that brings you happiness? So certain types of music really bring me ha make me happy. What do you smell like chocolate chip cookies or cake or whatever? What feel like what, what do you get happy when you feel it? and what tastes, what brings you happiness when you taste it. So this list and these little sketches are due next week. And then next week we're gonna go over finishing them because this, this is not refined. These are just sketches. So this, this needs to come up a game and like get more detailed and like a little more refined about what my font is gonna be. Do I want font? Do I wanna write it in there? Will my viewers know that I'm talking about the five senses? So all of these questions, you know, you're gonna be thinking about the shape of your frame. You're going to be thinking about um, the images, the unification, the color scheme, the style and if you want to put font in. So you have all of these design choices and it's a pretty independent project. My criteria is 
I wrote it and I'm reviewing it, but I made this video to kind of like really demonstrate what I'm looking for. Like your list of senses with your imagery, some kind of mapped out imagery of the five pieces. Remember, it's a small, intimate series, so you're not making five giant pieces. So you can keep them really simple and small and doable, but don't go too simple, okay? Like you can go simple, but if you go, look, see how my feet, like it's not just one sock with no background. Like I've got both feet in and I've got wrinkles and development. It's kind of just a, has a little bit more going on. Um, so I would definitely make sure that you don't go keep it simple, but not too simple. So this is what you're doing this week. And the assignment is in Google Classroom. The video is here. Um, and then next week we'll talk about the final. Please don't start the final this week. Please just do your thumbnails of your five senses and kind of so solve all that. And then we'll move on from there.